The word strata means layer. So you see here some rock strata. Just layers and layers of rocks. But in this case, stratified sampling is focusing on the different layers or different groups of the sample. In a random sample, you just pick random people. So it doesn't matter who they are or what group they represent. In a stratified sample, you need to make sure all groups are represented fairly. Let's look at this question. Hannifer wishes to conduct a stratified sample of her school. She constructs the following table. And we see a whole different group of boys and girls of different um, numbers. So year nine boys, 112. Now, if we just picked randomly, she's doing a sample of 40 children. She might end up with, I don't know, 20 year eight boys, 20 year seven boys. Does that really represent the school properly? If you ask those boys their opinion on something, you might not get a fair sample of the population. They might be biased because they're younger or because they're boys. So a stratified sample needs to make sure all the different groups are represented. The advantage of that, which is a question you sometimes get asked, is that it's much more representative. That's what you can say. It means the groups are represented fairly. It's not biased towards one group or another. Each group is fairly represented. How do we make sure they are fairly represented? We need this formula, and it's quite important. Group divided by total times by sample. What do each of these things mean? Well, let's take this question. Write down how many year eight boys will be in the sample, in Hannaford's sample. The group is year eight boys, so that would be 110. Then we're going to do that divided by the total. And that's the total number of children in this school. So the total here is 1053. And now, now we're going to multiply this by the sample. So multiplied by 40. Why do we do this? Well, the numbers here show that year 8 boys are roughly 1 out of 10. Whatever this fraction is, roughly 1 out of 10 of the number of children in the school. So we want there to be one out of every 10 of the sample to be year eight boys. That means they'd be fairly represented. Remember in a random sample, we could end up with half of the sample being year eight boys, but because it's a stratified sample, we make sure each group is represented accurately. If we work out that calculation, which we can do just very quickly here, um, we have 110 year 8 boys divided by the total number of children, which is 1053, times by 40. So 4.178. Now, obviously, we can't have a sample of 4.1 people. So we round it to the nearest whole number, which would be 4. So there will be 4 year 8 boys in this sample. Let's do one more group just to show you what I mean. How about year 7 girls? For year seven girls, how big is the group? 85. Oops, let's not fill that in. How big is the total? Well, it's still 1,053. So this time we're going to do 85 divided by 1,053. And we get a certain number. And again, times by the sample of 40, because Hanifa is doing a sample of 40. And this time we get 3.22. So if you round that to a whole number, that's three. So there would be three year seven girls in this sample. We can see from this some of the advantages of a stratified sample. Each group, be it year seven boys, all the way through to year 11 girls, will have their own say in this sample, all thanks to that formula.